What is something insignificant that you passionately hate? That shark fin shaped spot on my windshield that my wipers can't reach. You should invent a horizontal wiper that goes back and forth on a track. I was thinking about ones that would move in an elliptical motion rather than the radial arc. Other whip Bermuda triangle. When the audio and the video don't sync up by more than half a second. Putting on the brights to compensate for a dead headlight. Or people who just use the brights all the time and are inconsiderate of other drivers. Oh, and those newer headlights that are blue tinted. Dunno what they are called, and are stupid bright. I have chronic migraines and that sh gives me one every damn time. I'm not 100% sure, but those might be called xenon headlights. In these unprecedented times, now more than ever, we would like to tell you that we care. Buy a Toyota, we're all in this together. This is the one that pisses me off because from my perspective, we totally aren't. If this were a shark attack, the rich would be in a yacht, the middle class would have a rowboat, and the poor would be on a little dinghy with holes in the bottom. Where's the poem by a high school English teacher called first lines of emails I have received from corporations during the pandemic, or some such, out of an abundance of caution. Leaving the dish scrubber in the sink with the dirty dishes. I don't want to reach my hand into the mucky water to find the thing, FFS, and if it's totally gross, I have to clean it off so I can use it to scrub the dishes, see Monday. When you are gonna walk trough a door and your shirt or backpack, ETC gets stuck on the handle, or when the earphones cord gets caught as you're walking by and they get violently yanked out, fills me with irrational rage every single time. People who try to get on the elevator before letting people off, or onto the bus before letting people off, or the train. When the microwave keeps beeping even after you've opened the door to get your food out, like I know it's done, that's why I'm opening it, you don't need to keep screaming at me thanks. Best thing I ever googled is the mute combo for my microwave. Most microwaves have a hidden function, like hold down button 2, to turn off the beep notification. Saves my sanity, and hearing, eater, thanks all, glad this turned out to be helpful, and really sorry about the false hope for those of you who went on to discover your microwave lacks this function, I need to look this up for my mom's microwave, it gives 4 very loud, shrill beeps when it's done and if you don't get the food out within a minute, it does it again, if you hit the cancel button, it beeps 4 times quickly, as though it just has to get in those beeps, I hate that microwave. People that pull out in front of you, when no one is driving behind you, and then drive 20 miles an hour. This, fundamentally I don't mind people pulling out in front like this, but if you do, if I'm gun it. The rule I was taught was that if the person you pulled out in front of has to slow down, you should have waited, or accelerated faster, though this is my own addition. Ah yes, Grand Marina rushed to get to the senior center 20 minutes early from her McDonald's breakfast. Video game ads that don't show actual gameplay footage, or the ones that show what looks like a fun game but is actually just another candy crush. I'm looking at you. Homescapes. That's so many mobile game ads. It feels like there are three types of mobile games. Shtai Match 3, Shtai Kingdom Builder, and Shtai MMORPG. RF Homescapes. People that walk through busy pedestrian areas with zero self-awareness. You know the ones almost bumping into you as they are glued to their phones, stopping suddenly in front of you to gaze in a window. Four people walking spread out and making others step into the street, the list goes on, or stopping to do their stuff right in middle of the doorway. People when there's a clear lineup at a gas station till, bust out a massive wad of lottery tickets, and then you spend 10 minutes listening to Wahoo, or not a winner, when you just want to get to work. People who are making a phone call while simultaneously making a transaction with a live human being in front of them. Yeah I'm here for my meds. Hold on one second. I know. Jake. Isn't that crazy? I thought the same thing. My birth date? Okay. Just get off the damn phone. So rude. I went to pick up my meds one day and the lady in front of me was on her phone and the poor pharmacist couldn't get a word out to her. Before the lady left the pharmacist let her have it and told her she's not even supposed to help her if she's on her phone and she can't effectively do her job if the woman isn't answering her questions. I loved seeing the pharmacist get harsh with the lady. She needed a big ol' wake up call. When I worked part time at a liquor store I would ignore anyone who wouldn't get off their phone when they were checking out. 
Someone tried complaining to the owner and he said they could shop elsewhere if they couldn't be cautious to his staff. Those beauty kiosks at the mall that try to hand out crappy samples then chase you down when you don't take one. People who stand in a 30 minute line, but wait until they get to the register to look at the menu. Mine is kind of like this. Why doesn't a drive through have two menus? I hate how I'm waiting behind another car for 5 minutes and can't see the menu. Then when I pull up and can finally see the menu they ask me what I want right away. The local jack in the box has a double menu set up in the drive through The first menu is exactly one car length in front of the actual ordering menu. It's lovely. I keep a small pair of binoculars in my vehicle to view the menu board from afar. People who spend 10 minutes circling a half full parking lot to find a marginally closer spot to the store entrance. If they'd just picked a parking spot a bit further out they'd be in the store already instead of circling. And their incessant circling creates traffic for people trying to leave the lot or walk to their car. Just park 15 spots further away already. I always preferred parking far away. Less dumb fess. Leaving shopping carts randomly in the parking lot. You'll probably enjoy the channel cart narcs on YouTube then. It's a dude who just confronts people too lazy to put their cart away. The phrase wheel touch base, it absolutely grates on me. I have no reason to hate it. I just do. You seem pretty upset about that. Let's circle back to it later and we'll touch base on your opinions more. The sound of windshield wipers squeaking or skipping on the glass. You know that little bit of soda at the bottom of the can that you can never reach? Edit. This is my absolute greatest pet peeve thank you for everyone who agrees with me. But if something knocks over the can it will magically be able to spill out. Commercials that have the food cannibalize each other. Just, why? The cinnamon toast crunch ads are, certainly strange. Groups of people who block the entire sidewalk as they walk and talk. Walking so slowly without regard for anyone else. I have an aunt who turns on her cell phone when she needs to call someone. When she is done she turns it off. No one can ever reach her so at the end we always call her husband. People who watch TV or movies on their phone. Without headphones in the break room. I've been through it at, albeit not super pricey, seated restaurant. Where the table to my immediate left and right are playing videos on their phones full volume. One was the raucous laugh track after every literal sentence insanity of two and a half men. The other was a revolving set of internet fail clips. Completely ruined my meal and because no one else seemed bothered I endured it in silence. We've asked to move in a restaurant before. Someone was letting a full volume tablet babysit their kid at a table adjacent. The staff seemed a little put out. Until we said we'd be happy if they asked the other table to turn the tablet down. They moved us happily and quickly instead. People who talk on speakerphone or listen to music videos without headphones in public. Literally no one else wants to be subjected to your noise pollution. Stop it. Pretty sure this was the one of the lost commandments. Thou shalt f off with that bullsh. Something like that. When people inappropriately use an apostrophe in the plural form of a word. Sundays. My manager wrote because Christmas is this Friday. Employees will be allowed to wear jeans to work on a whiteboard. I couldn't stop staring at it. I didn't say anything but I discreetly erased the apostrophe when no one was looking lol. This time of year it's so rampant on holiday cards. No apostrophe needed in happy holidays from the Smiths. I am an English teacher and this drives me crazy. Also people who mix up loose and lose. People that are ahead of me in the gas station buying a shtun of lottery tickets. Or scratches then they stand at the counter to scratch them off. Loose, and then buy more. Rinse and repeat. My wife leaving the microwave on a random number instead of zeroing it out so the time displays. I don't know why it bothers me so much but it does. My husband does this too. I hate looking up for the time and seeing 021 instead. I also keep a plastic cover in the microwave. You're supposed to place it over the bowl or plate you're microwaving to prevent food splatter. Husband doesn't use it, which is fine. But he takes it out of the microwave. Heats up his food. Takes the food out and leaves the plastic cover on the stove top instead of putting it back in the microwave. Drives me batch and I've asked him countless times to please put it back but he doesn't. Microwaves should zero out after 5 minutes of non-use. This should be Biden's first executive order. This is the change our country really needs. One of my biggest social pet peeves are people who refer to others by their first name when it's likely you don't know who they are. 
For example, a co-worker saying they ate dinner with Sam and Robert on the weekend. When you ask who Sam Robert are, they say my brother's in law. Like did you really think I know your bills by name? Or long winded discussions at work about two or more other people with no names or pronouns. Like, I don't know who said what when everyone is she. When I see new neighborhoods being built with houses starting at least 650k, and they have no yard and the houses are literally 3 feet apart from each other, ah yes, affordable family first time buyer houses. Being asked are you sure about really trivial decisions, them do you want a coke or pepsi, me, coke, them, are you sure, me, oh god I don't know, throw self off building, kinda unrelated, but reminds me of when I say something as clearly as possible, and they still ask what do you mean, me, I had a big breakfast, dad, what do you mean, what about that statement confuses you or requires more clarity. Considering that I now work at a grocery store, people who leave refrigerated frozen items not in the refrigerators or freezers, and sometimes people who try to start a conversation, just leave me alone and let me ring you out so you can leave. Managers who insist on calling meetings and giving long winded instruction about some mistake or infraction one or two people committed instead of having the balls to just go talk personally to the one or two people. Walking behind slow walkers. People who leave their dirty dishes in a communal sink, meaning other people can't use the sink. Anytime two drivers block the road so they can have a conversation, then get upset when you are just sitting there waiting, like bruh, move the f out of the way. The Romeo and Juliet trope. People that don't use their turn signals, f them. People who have every sound notification enabled on their phones, down to the fake keyboard clicking noise it makes when composing a text. The fact that the word palindrome isn't a palindrome. Chewing with your mouth open, talking with food in your mouth, especially when someone who's streaming is doing it, you've got a microphone in front of your face and you think it's cool to just loudly chew into it. When they lick their finger to turn the page. People who pronounce tissue without the sh sound but with an s sound, what's the issue with it? People who wear an excessive amount of perfume cologne. I don't mind if you want to wear a nice subtle scent but if I can still smell you even after you've left the room it's too much. People who stand and talk in the middle of the walkways and aisles at stores. Come on now Cindy and Tammy, I know you haven't seen each other in a month but find somewhere else to chat. Homie just trying to get some Wheaties and you're standing in the way. Thank you essential workers, while they continue to pay the minimum wage and do nothing to show them they care. The McDonald's bar da bar bar bar. I hate it. It makes me angry and I don't even know why. I don't frequent McDonald's anyway. But if I did that stupid jingle would make me stop. And, I know this isn't asking about commercials. But that seems to be what I passionately hate. I cannot stand the Keurig commercial with James Corden. I've considered writing to Keurig to let them know that the commercial has turned me off so much that I will never buy another Keurig product again. Not that I had planned to I have a cheap knockoff that works great, but they don't know that. But I want to throw things at my TV when that comes on. Hate it. When I worked at McDonald's, there was a manager who tried to condition the crew to yell I'm loving it. Whenever she went ba da ba ba ba, it didn't work. Nobody liked her, and she was eventually arrested for dealing meth out of the drive through Mouth sounds. It makes me irrationally angry. Forced work get togethers that involve group icebreaker games. Please just trust that a group of professionals know how to talk to each other without needing that sh. My schedule being disrupted. I am a planner. I like to know what I'm doing where for how long. But my free time is mostly wasted anyway. So it isn't as if anything is lost. I just get so irrationally upset because it feels so disrespectful. My husband thinks I'm grinchy, but I hate this trend of inflatable holiday decorations. They seem to get bigger and bigger and are such a waste of material and energy. More crap for the landfills. My dad gets hot in a vehicle, so instead of taking off his coat before he gets in, he leaves the coat on and drives with the windows down in the middle of winter. Drives me insane. No, I do not want the wind zipping through the cab of the car and snowflakes flying in. Please turn the heat down or take off a layer. Influencers. Kindly f off already. When people say thank you for the gold kind stranger, it just irks me so much and I don't know why. Like nails on a chalkboard. 
children yelling or screaming, advertisements, car horns, basically everything that is inconsiderate to others or is shoved in your face. People who use MPM for a time, and then add in the morning or similar, X, I had to get up at 6am in the morning, UMM yeah that's what the AM meant, it irritates me way more than it should. People with their fingers on the trigger in movies when they are just carrying or holding it. People who don't look when crossing the street in a crosswalk, yes, I know you have the right of way but, just for the sake of argument, let's imagine that I didn't see you step out into traffic or that my brakes choose this moment to fail, do you really think the payout from my insurance is going to do much to comfort your next of kin? My motto is the written law says pedestrians have right of way, the laws of physics say the car doesn't give a ref. People who make more noise than is required as in slamming a car door shut when you just need to close it, slamming cabinet doors, excessive noise irritates me, although my 3 year old runs around screaming and it doesn't bother me so that's weird I guess, so maybe adults that have the capacity to be less obnoxious and choose not to be are the problem.